G'day guys, welcome back to Bush Rats. I'm Young Lee and this is my new family Super Tourer. This here is my new whip. Uh, she's a 1992 TF Rodeo turbo diesel 4x4 dual cab. So if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen about three, four weeks ago I had my first child. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, and we didn't want to get rid of the land courier. because I've had that old girl for about 10 years now. She's never let me down once. Um, I didn't want to go spend too much money. I didn't want to go get a Ranger or a Triton. I did have my eyes out for a LN Hilux, but the prices of them, they were getting up around 10, 15 grand for just a bunky one. Uh, half of them weren't licensed, just falling to bits. So, stumbled across this little gem here. She's super original and I picked her up for an absolute bargain. She's a one owner from new. She's got full service history and this here, some you don't see very often, but this here is a stack of the receipts of everything that's ever been done to her since 1992. So I got me buddy E-Dog from Dads and Lads Outdoors. We, he come and checked it out. Uh, we took it for a drive and we just couldn't say no. So it should serve the purpose. Gets the baby seat in the back, get the missus in there, load them up, um, and we're just off camping. So we're gonna deck this out into a little budget tourer. Uh, I'll let you know how much I paid for it later on, but throw a guess below. She's got 412,000 Ks on her. She's got the good four BJ motor in it, the 2.8 turbo diesel Isuzu motor. Um, but in these receipts here, we, we're talking alternators, starter motors, brand new aircon, shockies, clutch, rear main seals, all that sort of stuff. So, all big ticket items, all being done, all on record. But enough chit chatting, I'll check the GoPro on and we will go around. I'll show you what we've got. She's the cleanest TF Rodeo going, doesn't it? It's got one dent in it. The rest of it is tight. You've got the old school decals. We'll have a look. Let's grab the GoPro. Let's have a look. GoPro mode engaged. This is her here guys. Tinted windows. Got the factory decals on there still. It's been untampered with. We've got the original rims, they've had a coat on them. They're looking nice. The tires are a little due. Around the front we've got a nice stonker of a bull bar. Looks like a winch bar as well. It's got the cutouts in there. It's got a plate. For your winch cradle thing to go there behind the number plate. One spotty, we've just done nothing to it. All I've done so far is put a sticker on it. Look at that, tidy as. She's got the Tura top canopy. I'm in two minds whether to pull that off and just run it as a ute, but it looks quite, looks quite smart. Randy, that's the one dent in her. Got the size of a golf ball. We've got a tow bar. We've got custom, custom rear bar thing going on here. We'll get to the inside in a minute. This is the tub. She had a little bit of a paint thing going on here, but she's not too bad at all. Not much rust. Little bracket here. I think that's for a jerry can. And we've got an old school 12 volt socket, which we'll nip that off and chuck something on there. A little Anderson plug or something for the angle. That's the only mod we've done so far. Coming back around, I'm, I need some input. I, I want to keep it, because she's so clean, I want to keep it pretty standard. I was going to keep these rims and try and keep it as like a bit of a sleeper. We don't really need a rock crawler or nothing too hectic. We've got the career for that sort of stuff, but the biggest tires I can get on these rims, because they're skinnies, is 225s. And I'm not sure whether just to go a little bit bigger and get some sun raises or whether that'll ruin the look. Let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty keen to keep it just grandpa spec. Well, let's have a look under the bonnet, eh? So 
that's her there four j four b i don't know it's a good motor the 2.8 turbo diesel she's had a lot of new hoses put in a new starter motor down there brand new air con in it as well that's icy cold Not bad for 1992 no real leaks or anything we've got a little leak underneath on the rear main seal but got me buddy e-dog from dads and lads he's going to help me patch that up and i'm working on an episode with ethan now it's going to be a pretty cool episode where we're going to do i think it might be on his channel but things to look for when buying a budget four-wheel drive things to look for how to know whether you're getting a lemon or not what things we need doing how hard things are to do it's a nice little servicing one we're just going to give her a little fire up. Starts super easy. No ticking, no banging, no clanging. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Like I said, a few Ks on her, 412, but she's not going to get driven too much. Right, let's go have a look on the inside. just hopping in here now and this thing is clean as check this out we got the original steering wheel this thing here was apparently stitched on the day they drove out with it so the steering will be brand new under there it's got the old school buttons dash everything is tidy dash mats never been off it super clean she's got a little cd player here that's got no usb or nothing the only Mod cons you can find is it's got these little uh, USB ports put into it. This switch here which turns on the 12 volt in the back which will fix up. And the light bar switch. But other than that she is Mickey Mouse. They even got the original stickers on how to change gears. Look at them door cards. Like brand new. Seat covers, it's never been run without them on. Got my cameras in there. Have a look in the back. How's the condition of these? Not a rip, not a tear, nothing. Like brand new floor mats, underneath your floor mats, everything is just Mickey Mouse. Absolutely chuffed with the condition of this. This is how they should be. A few of the LN Hiluxes I was looking at, they had plywood door inserts and two different seats in the front no seats in the back and missing floors missing roof linings one of them had a hole in it where you can put your finger through the roof that's why we've decided we couldn't let this one go she's an absolute gem and credit to the old bloke the used owner looked after her so we're gonna have a little look underneath underneath here she has got a New two and a half inch exhaust with a muffler, so it's not too loud. It's got a long range tank as well. I think the bloke before must have done a bit of touring. Leaf springs are looking a little old. Shockies are a little worn, but she does drive nice. She drives like a bit of a boat, and so you can see, but over there she's got a little bit of a weep on the rear main seal, but nothing we can't get a dog to sort out. So that's her there, guys. That's the new Tura. So I'm just going to do a budget build on it. Nothing too extreme. I'm thinking maybe some roof racks. I'm in two minds on whether to lift it, put some bigger tires on it. I want to get a 12 volt set up in the back, maybe just a portable battery box that I can plug in with an Anderson plug to the alternator to charge it. Just throw on the angle in, maybe get another angle. Any sponsors out there want to throw us some free shit? We're all about some free shit. Other than that, we're just going to drive it. Keep it clean, drive it. But an absolute gem of a car. So throw your comments below, let me know what you reckon I paid for it. We're getting there, I'll let you know how much in a minute. Happy with that. All right, so we're just taking it for a light wheel, as they say, a little Forby. Hitting a couple of little obstacles here. She's a bit soft in the suspension, which is quite nice. Um, after driving the Courier, which has the torsion bars wound right up and extended shackles and stuff. 
this thing is like driving a boat. Uh, we'll chuck the camera out, we'll get a, maybe get some flexing going on. Uh, but just go show what you can get for just a cheap tourer, guys. You don't have to spend 40, 50 grand on a Ranger or 100 grand on a Land Cruiser. You can get out there with just a budget build um, and have just as much fun without stressing about scratching up your nice paintwork. Here we go, we've got a nice little bit of something going on up here. sum it up guys I'm pretty impressed so she's obviously no uh, flexi boy patrol but we don't really do any rock crawling and um, be hectic tracks or anything we just like to get out there get out of the bush maybe get down to a spot where no one's really going um, but you don't really need much more than this right here so for the price I paid I'm chuffed I'm absolutely chuffed but we'll pull her up and call that a day let's recap this thing Oh, that's her there, guys. Clean, the paintwork's mint. Um, runs and drives real nice and smooth. And like I said, if you watch this channel before, you're a bit of a viewer, you know it's all about keeping it cheap, nice and budget. And we're just gonna set this thing up just so we can put the baby seat in the back, get away with the family, um, and so I can keep the courier as well without breaking the bank. So, the price I paid for it, three and a half grand on the papers there. So three and a half, I think I've done pretty well. Like I said it needs tires needs rear main seal done at some point it's got a little bit of a drip there but uh, i can put oil in faster than it comes out of the bottom so that's for another day um, so i'm just gonna give her a service and just keep going so set of tires wouldn't mind a winch but leave some comments below let us know what you do to it what, what do you recommend just keep it use it drive it or pimp it out and turn it into a, a rock crawler monster truck but for now i'm gonna fire up i'm gonna take it for a spin and we will see you guys next time out on the tracks Yew.